Ladies and gentlemen have always been my inspiration, right from the very beginning, through all kinds of times, both so good and bad, and in so many countless ways, you always let me know that you were there for me. And for that, I love you an awful lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have another source of inspiration going for me tonight, too. And you will, too. Just as soon as you hear the kind of music made by the members of the Spectacular Orchestra. You're going to love it. Live music again. Live music. No canned music. Just live music. And now I'd like to introduce a gentleman who holds the Billboard magazine's record for no, more top ten records than any other musical arranger in the history of popular music. We went to high school together. We were 13 years old. We both played the accordion. He has written songs, hits, for the likes of Frank Sinatra, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, Barbra Streisand, Engelbert Humperdinck, Bruce Springsteen, Glenn Campbell, and a host of others. He holds, actually was nominated for 15 Grammy Awards. So please join me in welcoming, giving a warm welcome to Mr. Charlie Colello. Charlie? Right, we should be doing a duet. Actually, my accordion, my father chose the accordion, Charlie, because it was the most asexual instrument on the planet. <laughs> and when it died in the flood in my basement in '67, I threw a big part. <laughs> you are about to enjoy, have a musical holiday, a feast, when you listen to this spectacular uh, orchestra and the man who wrote all of these magnificent songs. Thank you, Tommy. No night would be complete without paying tribute to one other person who made it possible for Connie to actually have her first hit record. It was many years ago, and you probably will recognize him by this piece we're going to play. used to play. Now as Connie mentioned, most of my musical career was not spent on a stage like this. It was in recording studios around the world, and I had the opportunity to work with some really, really talented people along the way. And I was privileged, as a young person, to have also recorded a lot of songs that maybe may bring some memories back to when you were even younger. I put together a medley of some of the songs that I was associated with, either that wrote the arrangement or producer wrote the arrangements too. Let me see 
How many of these you remember? 